Today, the beautiful port of Cape Town in South Africa welcomed American Brad Van Loo as the winner of the first leg of the Velux Five Oceans Round the World Yacht Race. The 42-year-old has been at sea for 28 days, having covered 7,400 nautical miles from the race start in La Rochelle on the west coast of France. Battling against high winds, massive waves, extreme sleep deprivation and an agonizingly slow last day of sailing, the native of Charleston has also had to contend with the attentions of the man in second place, Zbigniew Kudkowski. The pole pushed Van Loo hard the whole way, even snatching the lead at one point, but it was a well-deserved victory for the American aboard his boat, the Penguin. Uh, four weeks, chalk to chalk is, is excellent, you know, I couldn't have really, I wouldn't have guessed, you know, you know as good as we could have hoped for. You know, had a little incentive here and there, you know, between having to, you know, you know I mean, Gutek was obviously pushing pretty hard, and there were times when I had to really push push pretty hard as well to try to stay in front of him or not lose touch with him. And then, uh, and then uh, <clears throat> the, the weather a couple times sort of forced my hand, you know. I mean, especially the last few days, um, it was really important. You know, I, I did that option to go sort of north of this high pressure area um, to stay north rather than having to go south like he did. And that option was, was very risky. And um, the risk with it, with it was that the high was following me the whole way. And if, if I sort of slowed down just a little bit, you know, I mean, it was a 12 hour thing. Every 12 hours, you know, I was in a spot where 12 hours later there wasn't gonna be any wind. So I had to stick right with the, the plan perfectly or I would have been parked for a couple of days. Adding to his delight at winning the first of five legs in the Velux Five Oceans race, Van Loo also had the added pleasure of being reunited with his wife Megan and two children, having not seen them for a month. Yeah, we were fired up and raring to go at 6 a.m. and then of course it's always kind of hurry up and wait and, and so we got the news that he was uh, within, gosh, 50 miles or so but going very slow. So, uh, so we hung out and wait and wait, and then, um, and then of course, within like you know an hour, it's like get to the waterfront. So, it's been up and down all around. The kids are super excited and, and emotional, and it's you know it's been a long time. Van Loo's victory has been particularly impressive, bearing in mind the American's boat was knocked flat on one occasion, and his Polish rival Gutkowski has turned out to be a very potent competitor. Oh, I think Gutek's going to be one to watch in the next few legs because he's, you know, he was only just getting his act together. So um, yeah, no, he'll be good. With Van Loo safely back on terra firma already, the next man home, Zbigniew Gutkowski, is expected to arrive in Cape Town on Wednesday.